Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, unexpectedly, is going to be my Project Use It Up Bath & Body Works edition finale. So you guys know if you've been watching me, this is a project that I do each month. And then I usually have a finale right before the end of, um, like right before the semi-annual sales starts. But I figured by the time this video goes up, we're only realistically a few days away from the semi-annual sale, so any progress that I make over the next five days is probably pretty negligible. So we're going to go ahead and do a finale now. So I'm going to share with you where I ended up for all the products that I had in this project. You know, I'll do my semi-annual sale hauls. I'll still do my empties videos no matter what. Um, we're also going to do Bath & Body Works collection videos. I do that after each semi-annual sale haul and after the end of each project. So you guys get an updated, you know, just what's in my stash Bath & Body Works collection. And then in July, we will start this project up again. So if you really like these videos, don't fret. They'll come back in July. Um, but that gives me a time to do all my shopping and kind of really pick out what I want to use, you know, for the remaining of summer and to the fall for winter. I'm really hoping that there's some fall items at the um, semi-annual sale because I definitely need some fall body care. But I'm going to quit my jibber jabbering and I will start with the fine fragrance mist that I had in this project. I only had one, um, Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea. And that's how far I got. So I was able to finish a full body spray and then this much of a second one in this project. Like I said, I used to be able to go through these super quickly, but I'm trying to use other things, my Sol de Janeiro stuff, my perfumes, etc. So I'm not reaching for these quite as much anymore. Um, I'm okay just working my way through this. That doesn't, you know, this isn't upsetting to me that I only got that far through. If I can finish, you know, all fine fragrance mist a project, I will feel pretty good about myself. So that is where I ended up. This is going to live on my dresser and I'm going to keep working through it this summer and see how far that I can get on it. Next category is Ultra Shea Body Creams and man did I have a lot in here and I did really really well. So I only had one body cream left and that was in a watermelon lemonade and I did finish watermelon lemonade. So I successfully finished all of the body creams in this project. I don't have that many body creams left in my, um, in my collection, but I'm probably going to pick more up at the semi-annual sale to kind of get me through. But I was able to finish all of my body creams. Now shower gels were another story. I have four left. The one that I am um, was currently working on our last update was the Moisturizing Body Wash in Birch and Argon. And I did finish this. This was completely, this is completely gone. This actually emptied faster than I thought it would. Um, it didn't take me as long to get through this as I originally thought it would. I'm really glad that I was able to finish this just because I was worried, like I've said, about the shelf life. I wanted to make sure it wasn't going bad. So I was able to finish this. And then I moved on to Endless Weekend. And if you can see, it's been sitting on his side here. I did, um, I have made some progress. So this is the one that's currently in my shower and smells so good. Little bubble just flew out. <laughs> this is the one that is currently in my shower. I'm really, really enjoying it. And that's how far I got. So this will probably be an empty for the month of June, I would think. I had two other shower gels that I didn't even get a chance to start. I don't know if I just kind of overestimated my shower gel usage or kind of what I was thinking, but I have two full ones left, and that is Sweet Magnolia and Clementine and Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea, which is fine. I can use these next, you know, spring, summer, so I'm not, you know, worried about that in the slightest, or maybe in the remaining of the spring or summer, I'll pick one of these to, to use. So that is everything for this project. I feel like overall I did really well. I was able to move quite a bit of stuff out of my Bath & Body Works stash. You know, I do bring things in when I do reviews and whatnot, and actually I will have a couple more Bath & Body Works reviews coming up. So if you are interested in those, please subscribe and stay tuned for that. June is a really exciting month as far as Bath & Body Works on my channel. Like I said, we're going to have, you know, um, this empties video for this month. I'll have a couple, um, two more Bath and Body Works reviews, semi-annual sale haul, um, as well as a collection video, and then we'll start a new project. So there's lots 
to do in the next month in regards to Bath and Body Works. So I hope you guys stay tuned and are excited to see. But that is everything I have for this finale video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching and seeing my progress. And I will see you in my next one.